everyone and welcome to Pocket Full of English with Miss Ina. Appositives, what are they and how should you use them? In writing, it is sometimes helpful to include several pieces of information in one sentence. After all, if every fact had to have its own short, simple sentence, your writing would lack variety and make for a pretty dull reading experience. Much like modifiers, appositives provide additional details to nouns. Appositives are positively useful in that they explain and further identify nouns. Are you excited to learn more about appositives? But before we begin, let me remind you that there's a short quiz after the lesson, so you have to watch and listen carefully to get a perfect score. I think you're ready. Come on, let's start learning. A positive. What is an appositive? An appositive is a noun or noun phrase that refers to another noun right beside it. An appositive provides more details about the noun. An appositive can be a short or long combination of words. An appositive can appear anywhere in a sentence, but it always follows immediately after the noun. An appositive can come before or after the main noun, and it can be at the beginning, middle, or end of a sentence. An appositive comes from the Latin word to put near. Let's look at some examples of appositives. My youngest child, Mark, is feeling sick today. The appositive is my youngest child. It is written at the beginning of the sentence. It refers to the noun Mark. Miss Bernadette. Owen's favorite teacher in the school assigned a research project. The appositive is Owen's favorite teacher in the school. It is written at the middle of the sentence. It refers to the noun Miss Bernadette. My cousin was staying at the Holiday Inn, the most affordable hotel in the neighborhood. The appositive is the most affordable hotel in the neighborhood. It is written at the end of the sentence. It refers to the noun Holiday Inn. An appositive may be essential or non-essential. What's the difference? Let's find out. Appositives can be essential or restrictive or non-essential or non-restrictive. If the appositive is necessary for the meaning of the sentence, then it is essential. This means that it cannot be left out. If the appositive is not essential for the meaning of the sentence and it could be left out, then it is non-essential. Non-essential appositives should be set apart from the sentence with commas. Essential appositives are not set off with commas. Let's look at the following examples. My friend Josephine loves video games. The appositive is Josephine. It is essential. It refers to the noun friend. Without the appositive Josephine, we have no idea just who this friend is. Since this appositive is necessary for full understanding of the sentence, it is essential or restrictive. It is not set off with commas. Celine's reading teacher, Miss Eloise, is from Scotland. The appositive is Miss Eloise. It is non-essential. It refers to the noun teacher. If we remove the appositive, we would still understand that Celine's reading teacher is from Scotland. Although the appositive adds detail to the sentence, the audience already understands which specific teacher is being referred to. 
including the name, is unnecessary. Therefore, this appositive is non-essential. It is set off with commas. Let's combine sentences with appositives. We can use appositives to combine two sentences into one when one of the sentences provides more information about the noun. Appositives can help writers to combine sentences in order to emphasize the most important points and write more concisely. For example, instead of my mother lost her favorite ring, it was a gift from her great grandmother, we can say, my mother lost her favorite ring, a gift from her great-grandmother. The appositive is a gift from her great-grandmother. Instead of polar bears are large and furry animals, they eat seals but not penguins. We can say polar bears, large and furry animals, eat seals but not penguins. The appositive is large and furry animals. Remember, a sentence is still complete without the appositive. However, adding the appositive presents more information about the other noun. Quiz time! Identify the appositive in each sentence. Time to check the answers. How many correct answers did you get? Brilliant job, everyone. Thanks, everyone, for joining me in today's lesson. I hope you learned a lot. Hope to see you again next time. Bye.